Uh, speaking at a news conference on Wednesday, the uh, Lands and Natural Resources Minister Samuel Abujanapal also mentioned that a, a team will be set up to monitor these trees that are being planted. And on the first anniversary of this event, we will be given an update. And like Nanaya rightly mentioned, the ministry expects that we will plant more than 5 million trees. You heard earlier, um, my colleague from the central region, Richard Kojonyako, mentioned that the University of Cape Coast nurtured its own seedlings in addition to what was given it by the Forestry Commission. So definitely we are looking to plant more than 5 million trees. And that's why uh, the ministry is keen on keeping the at least uh, just there before the 5 million trees. So if you're home watching us you can participate in this event just uh, we are told if you live in accra you can pass by the accra mall the national theater uh, we are told the, the ministries district offices you will definitely pick up a ceiling there and you'll be given guidelines on how to plant this so this green ghana day is part of a larger green ghana project which is expected to last between four to five years and uh, this is fighting for a sustainable environment and you you may recall that at, at the time the uh, fight against illegal mining was uh, being uh, explained to us again the we were told that there will be a reclamation exercise this tree planting exercise is not a part of that so lands that have been degraded by illegal mining will not feature in this tree planting exercise. There will be a national reclamation program to deal with that, obviously because those lands have been polluted uh, with chemicals that need uh, to be extracted and there needs to be some work done before trees are planted on those ones. But let me take you to the Upper West region. Rafiq Salam tells us what's happening there with regards to the tree planting exercise. Hello, Rafiq. Hello, Rafi, can you hear me? If you can, tell us what's happening in the Upper West region. Hello, Rafiq. Uh, well, we seem to be having some challenges there, but uh, beyond planting the tree, you can support this project in cash as well. And so we're told that some organizations, including the NPA, the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, some individuals like Dr. Joyce Ayi have given cash uh, to support this project. We also know churches like the Church of Pentecost, the Assemblies of God, the Apostolic Church, the Presbyterian Church of Ghana have also committed to plant certain number of trees today. So this is indeed a national event. And for, for those of you who have questions, hopefully I can ask them on your behalf. We've been joined by Dr. Ebenezer Jablete. He's Director of Operations at the Forestry Commission's Northern Zone. Thank you so much for joining this program this morning, sir. And uh, as we've seen, this is indeed a nationwide exercise. And uh, a lot of people are proud to be a part of it. But one major concern for many people is how we will protect these areas that have been designated Already, we know that in Ghana, we have designated places which are meant to be reserves, protected and all, but we have illegal miners and other uh, persons whose activities degrade the environment entering those zones. So how are we ensuring that these uh, portions of land that have been earmarked for this project will be protected? Hello? Hello, Doc. Yes, please. Well, I suppose you didn't hear my question. No, no, no. Too bad. Let me take it again. I'm I saying the concern for many people is that already existing forest reserves have been invaded and the activities uh, of people have destroyed these places. What is the guarantee or what is the Forestry Commission doing to ensure that these portions of land that you have earmarked for the Green Ghana yeah. project will be protected and nobody will be able to enter that space uh, to degrade the environment. Yeah, uh, very well. The good morning to the listening public. The strategy or the game plan this time around is that we would link up or we are linking up with the traditional authorities. 
the uh, institutions of state, the heads of these institutions of state, so that they will buy them in. Uh, I, in uh, over 10 years ago, I was ever the regional manager in charge of the broader half of region, uh, the northern region then. And uh, that was when the National Forest Plantation Development Program was, uh, came underway, you know. And where we had successes in the then, the, the then uh, northern region, areas where, where we were able to engage uh, the traditional authorities, the people themselves, the key stakeholders, so, so that in case, in the event that there's any wildfire, they will be able to keep it, uh, keep that in check, and anything that can, uh, gets in way to destroy the for the planted seedlings. So this is the strategy, the zone where I superintend over has been doing. That is what we've been doing so far. So I am in mean, Nalerigu now. Uh, very soon, the Nairi and the team will be coming. Yesterday we worked there and K had an engagement with them. And we had significant rain this morning, and so it has delayed the planting exercise uh, this morning. So they are coming on. But we are the uh, the, the area mm. where we are having the commemorative uh, exercise. Mm. So, Doc, uh, these these portions of land do they uh, originally belong to the Forestry Commission? Are these lands owned by the state? So that later we don't have a situation where someone comes to claim ownership and say this is my land, oh, no, and I don't no, I don't care what you've done on it. Where we currently uh, mm. belong to uh, uh, the area earmarked for the uh, construction of the regional coordinating council for the Mamprusi East uh, 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 Northeast uh, uh, area, yeah, Northeast region, and that in mean the Northeast region. That is where ca where currently we are. Mm. Yes. And, and so all these lands, because we've just seen a, a portion of land in Cape Coast, one here in Accra, I, I just want to know if all these lands belong to the state. Are, are you able to tell oh, us? In, I wouldn't say, uh, in a way, we, we can plant in degraded areas within the forest estate. That means that belong, that is a forest reserve. Okay. In addition, the areas outside the forest reserve that are degraded, like we have in in the, my area of jurisdiction now, mm. uh, the Nalerigu environment. Maybe. Okay. All right. Uh, and, and, Doc, these trees that we are planting, we expect to nurture them. Uh, but mm. usually in, in projects like this, what is the survival rate? Uh, do we expect that all these trees will survive and grow? If not, uh, tell us what, what we should be expecting in terms of numbers, just an estimation in a year's time. Yeah, a plantation, dry, any plantation dry that is 70% and above, that success rate is deemed to have been very successful. Mm. So we I all anticipate we should have a 100% success, but if anything, anything to short of that, we didn't even go beyond below 70%, then it means there is a failure. So we call it is uh, we are calling on all and sundry, the citizenry, to get on board and help us uh, protect these seedlings we are putting into the soil today. Mm. And, Doc, this, uh, we are told by the minister that we've lost 80% of our original over 8 million hectares of forest cover. That leaves mm -hmm. us with just about 1,600,000. 1.6. 1.6, yes. So, yes. Doc... Yes. Uh, this project is going to take us between four to five years. We are hoping to plant at least five million trees today. Do we know what percentage uh, of our lost forest cover we are hoping to regain at the end of this project? I come back. I, 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 it's not too clear. The, the, the connectivity issues are a bother here now. So if you can repeat. All right, Doc, what I'm asking is that at the end of this project, in the next four to five years, Yes. What percentage of our lost forest cover are we hoping to recover? Oh, we, we should, we should, uh, we have about a little beyond two, uh, below two million now. And if we are to sustain five million, I'm even told we've covered, subscribe, mm -hmm. five million, the enthusiasm has been whipped up such that a lot of seedlings are being demanded we cannot even supply now. So I believe that if uh, we're going by this minimum of five million for the next five, six years, we should be where we about uh, we should be getting about we that is about uh, uh, 
uh, that is uh, uh, about 400. We should get, be getting to about 4 million, 4 million seedlings. We only pray that uh, this uh, uh, human-induced fact that uh, wildfire, cattle grazing, uh, indiscriminate, uh, we should suspend or minim reduce to the minimum, uh, the barest minimum, these human-induced factors which we all are conversant with now. Mm. So if we are able to keep those things in check, these human or anthropogenic factors in check, then I'm sure the next five years we should have recovered the lost recover very significantly. I appreciate your time, Doc. We'll leave it here uh, so that you can go on with the program uh, of planting the trees uh, in Nalerugu. Let's uh, head to the Upper West region now. And uh, my colleague Rafik Salam reports that there were rains in that region as well. And uh, the minister and uh, some members of RECSEC defied the rains. It tells you how passionate they are about this. To plant some trees. We are told that 199,000 are expected to be planted in the region. He joins us via phone. Rafiq, apart from the minister and RECSEC officials, tell us uh, other persons in the region who are participating in this event. Hello. Hello, Rafiq. Uh, oh, no. Hello, Rafiq. Well, too bad. Uh, we seem to have a challenge there with the line. But uh, earlier, you saw a photograph of uh, Samuel Abujinapo and a young girl planting a tree. We are told uh, that, or not told, you are encouraged to take a selfie or a photograph while you're planting the tree, put it on social media. Uh, it's a way of documenting uh, this particular exercise and also uh, leaving a mark for posterity and also to create some hype and excitement and let others join. Well, I'm told Rafiq is back on the line. Hello, Rafiq. Apart from the Hello. minister and RECSEC officials, tell us uh, other persons in the region who are participating in the tree planting exercise. You know, the yeah, Upper West Region, 65 institutions have uh, been brought up to take up at this month because they think that the Upper West uh, is lying on a fragile ecological zone and they think that it's important that to plant trees. So the Upper West Region, initially, uh, 150,000 uh, trees were supposed to be planted uh, in this region, but due to the individual, to the region, it has been increased to 199,000. But you can see that... Uh, 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 before we go to the place, it was threatening to rain. And so when the minister uh, planted uh, his tree, and it is began to rain. And so, but uh, some of the officials had to fight at the rain, and they planted the trees that they were supposed to. Mm. And uh, Rafik, uh, we are told by the ministry that as part of this project, a One Student, One Tree initiative was also launched. Do you know if uh, any of, of the schools are participating in this? Um, several schools uh, in the municipality uh, are taking part. I mean, uh, some few days ago, uh, these uh, uh, plants or these trees were, were distributed uh, to the schools uh, for them uh, to do uh, the planting uh, today. So several, uh, you know, I also attended a school that some years ago was ripped off uh, by the rain. And so it was also a directive uh, at the school that a student to plant one tree. And so if you go to a school like here, I'm a dear, Muslim farmer or GHS, it's full of trees. And so it's an initiative that are going in the, and there are several schools in the country that are taking up that mantle. Mm, and, and Rafiq, have you planted your tree yet? And because of the rain. <laughs> sure, do send us a photograph when you do. Uh, that's Rafiq Salam joining us from the Upper West region, uh, giving us details on how the tree planting exercise is being carried out there. I'm yet to plant my tree, but uh, I will definitely plant one and, uh, and let you know how it goes. And uh, also, you are encouraged to do the same. Later today, the president will be planting a tree. We are told the Speaker of Parliament, the Chief Justice, will also be doing the same. The Asante Hini has done his already. Uh, we are told the Ochihini will also be doing this. Uh, so this is a very important national event that you should be a part of. It's Green Ghana. Let's go planting. Do stay with us. Right. Uh, we'll be back right after these messages. <laughs>